Hi everyone, your home tools with James and we're in the greenhouse today. We're going to do our irrigation and our garden beds ready for some veggies. Let's go and take a closer look. Alright, well I've just finished doing the greenhouse build and if you'd like to check that one out, I'm going to drop that in the top right corner now uh, so you can check that fit out. And please, if you do like these videos and you want to see more of this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving us a like and dropping some comments in, that would be muchly appreciated. Uh, but today we're checking out the, uh, the irrigation system and the, uh, the garden beds we're going to be using in the greenhouse. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's have a look at what we're working with here. So first we're going to take a look at the garden beds that I've bought. Uh, and what I've got here is some 3.2 by 0.8 metre beds. They're made out of a colour bond steel. I look, bought these ones off eBay uh, for about 300 Oz dollars. Uh, and to be honest, they were a bit of a pain in the ass. They were, um, they were packed quite well, uh, but there was a lot of assembly. There's a lot of... Uh, bolts and nut combos going on. So it did take a long time to uh, put them together. But look, they have come up just fine. Uh, just for now, I've, I've, I've sat them in spot and uh, I've put a little bit of silicon just on the joints to seal them up a little bit. So I'll give you a bit of a look at what I'm gonna do here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by using the same plastic uh, from I use from the greenhouse walls, uh, just to line the base uh, of each garden bed. Then I'm gonna put in some 65 mil ag pipe uh, that I bought and it's a slotted ag pipe with a sock over it and this will help with our drainage. I'm just going to drill a hole in one end just to run out any excess water uh, that might come out the bottom of the garden bed. Uh, from there, I'm going to cover it with a bit of shale, just a bit of crushed rock, uh, just to aid in the, uh, in the drainage process. And then here we're covering it with the topsoil. Uh, just bought some topsoil from my local here. Um, you know, nice nutrient rich um, topsoil that you'd use in your garden beds. And I'm also just enriching that soil with a bit of dynamic lifter uh, just to make sure that they, uh, they get uh, you know, my veggies get all the nutrients that they need. Well, all right, we've got our garden beds full of soil and we're ready to plant out. Now on this side, I'm gonna do strawberries. I'm gonna keep a, a sort of one over this side for fruit. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do my veggies like my tomatoes, my capsicums, etc. So we're gonna plant this out. I'm gonna put a bit of uh, a bit of sugar cane mulch around the top as well. Give it a little bit of a water in by hand and then let's talk irrigation. Okay, so we've got our garden beds done now, we're moving on to the irrigation. So what I'm gonna use uh, in the greenhouse here is I'm actually gonna use a misting system. Now, I've gone with the Hoselink misting system. There's a bunch of different brands you can buy, but I've been using this Hoselink uh, Aussie, Aussie made stuff for a little while now. I, I really like their hoses because they just don't burst off and they don't leak. So uh, really fond of them. And I bought their misting kit. So what you get in this kit uh, is you get a real hose, uh, 15 meters long. Uh, look, to me, it looks like it's probably, it's probably less than 10 mil. So it's only a really fine hose. Just got 15 meters of that. And what we've got here is a series, series of these T-piece uh, nipple type things. And I'll bring one close to the camera so you can get a bit of a look at what's going on here. So basically I'm gonna run these in series and uh, I'm just gonna attach them to the, to the, uh, to the hoops that I've got in the, in the greenhouse here. Should be nice and easy. Uh, they also come with um, these type crocodile clip type things or uh, actually a, a nail in hammer type thing if you want to fasten them to you know wood boards and stuff because people do use these misting kits for uh, for entertaining and uh, cooling people off in the hot months. Uh, it also comes with an end piece so it's a dead head system uh, it comes with an end stopper basically I'm going to run one I've got eight in the kit I'm going to run one on each uh, loop alongside the uh, each veggie patch and I should get uh, be able to create a nice tropical environment in here. To fasten it to the uh, to fasten it to the hoops what I'm going to use uh, is just zip ties, cable ties, nice and easy. I've got these UV stabilized ones. Uh, if you just use the hardware store ones, you know, the black or white ones, you'll probably find they'll go brittle pretty quickly uh, and they'll break. You need to get the UV stabilized ones for this job. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these up uh, and start putting them on. I oh, might mention too. So the way that these join up to your hose system, there's a couple of ways. You can join them to the tat. This is the hose link style tat but it's got a three quarter inch uh, fitting, so it's just a standard tap fitting. And the kit comes with this little 
uh, end joiner. So this, this side joins to the, uh, to the gray hose that I've got, and this side goes to three quarter tap. So you could join this onto a sprinkler solenoid, which is what I'm gonna do here uh, in the future, or you could hook it onto your normal tap uh, and away you go. So let's hook in, I'll show you what I'm doing with this misting system, and, uh, and then we'll see if it all works. And there we have it, our misters are installed and working and I can tell you it's much nicer in here now. It was pretty hot in here uh, without them, uh, but it's certainly uh, doing the trick. And a couple of things to note uh, when I installed these. So the zip ties, really good idea using those. Um, just the thing I'd be, I'd be careful of, just to watch out on those, is that when you tie them off, make sure the tie is pointing in, because if you have it to the outside, uh, there's possibility for it to uh, cause some friction against your, your plastic cover and could burst through. So although it doesn't look as good, uh, it certainly is a lot more functional to have the, the, the part you cut off uh, pointing on the inside. The other thing that's really cool about these uh, the hose link ones, the, the misters, is it's dire they're directional sprays and you can lock them in place. So I've sort of aimed them right at the garden bed and tightened them up uh, and they're working a treat. Uh, now, this isn't my primary uh, source of irrigation uh, for these garden beds. Uh, it's certainly going to be good for the foliage, and uh, I can sort of move up the system as, uh, as they get uh, the plants grow taller. Uh, but this will be sort of, sort of to keep the leaf and the, the, the plants themselves nice and moist. I am going to run a, uh, an actual weeper hose uh, that's hooked up to a tap timer as well uh, in the actual garden bed, which you can see here. I've got the hose link, one of those running in there as well. So I'm going to have those in both garden beds to, uh, to make sure the roots get plenty of water as well. Uh, but that's my irrigation setup. I'm going to go into some more depth in another video of my system that I use for the whole house, so the lawns, the garden beds, the greenhouse, the whole lot, and the controllers that I use, so stay tuned for those ones. Uh, for those that have already subscribed to the channel, thank you. Uh, really starting to see some good growth in the channel. I uh, appreciate you all. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Give us a like. Um, if you do have any questions, any comments, uh, you want me to clear anything up, uh, I'll, I'll pop links in below uh, for where I bought the hose link stuff. Uh, but I'm always happy to answer your comments in the bottom there as well. Thanks for watching. You've been Home on the Tools with James. I'll see you in the next one.